by Smost, everything we know. Hello everyone, my name is Princess Agumbiade. I am a fashion beauty travel influencer, CEO 503 Global Nigeria Limited. Hi guys, my name is Stephanie Vincent Otiono, SBO, and I'm a jack of all trades, mistress of all. Hi everyone, my name is Akiola Fafawara. I am a TV host, I am a professional master of ceremonies and a fitness enthusiast. Hi, my name is Tammy. I'm an illustrator, artist. So today on Spice Most, we'll be talking about everything we know so far, 2019. On Sunday, March 31st, at age 33, Hustle was shot and killed. He'll be remembered for his music, his dedication to his family, and his strong legacy of community involvement. Prior to his death, Hustle had been dating his girlfriend, Lauren London, with whom he shared a two-year-old son, Cross, for five years. So far, 2019 has been super eventful. We're talking marriage, we're talking deaths, breakups, makeups. But the most eventful thing so far, I think, is Nipsey Hussle's death. It's so recent, it's so sad, it's so tragic, and I feel the whole world right now is mourning Nipsey Hussle. This is like the Tupac, Biggie loss in the entertainment industry, and it's sad that it was over something very basic and as jealousy. And from the surveillance footage, you could tell that it was from someone he knew because this guy could actually step up to him up close and personal, you know, with no security. I was able to actually fire these shots at him and for, apparently it was like military standard, like two in the chest, one in the head. So it was like a fatal shot. So it's been really crazy. And with regards to Nipsey Hussle, I didn't really used to listen to his music like that. The whole entertainment industry is shook about Nipsey's death. And honestly, I can't imagine how Lauren, you know, his baby mama will be feeling right now. I mean, they seemed like they had a very good relationship and I mean, even Lauren said that he's such a lover of family, everyone loved him and it's so tragic. Honestly, I pray that his soul rests in peace and I pray that his family um, will be able to at least cope with his passing. FU Challenge, Victoria Kimani, Tiwa Savage, and Shay Shay. Somebody shaded somebody and the other person retaliated and there's there's all sorts of things going on. So from people who owe money at clubs, big boys, big brother boys, um, to people who have slept with this other person and that other person. And yeah, all the savage statements going back and forth. I'm like, I have to duck just so, you know, we're safe, but I'm all here for it. Basically, you know, it was this whole thing started from Kiss Daniel. He put up, you know, he put up his own version on his page. So a couple of artists all jumped on it. You know, Files the bad guy. There's always talks on social media about who hurt Files, like who collected his pocket money, like he's always going out with girls and all. But everyone came and brought up, you know, Vector's one was really, really dope. Vector was basically saying like, how are you guys doing it? Because you guys come out on your song saying this person is smashing this person. Come on, guys. I'm sure as we're recording this, there's probably someone in the studio literally recording his own challenge like you guys need to let it let sleeping dogs lie man let's let's move on to the next man but kiss daniel basically i'm not really sure about it but kiss daniel basically started the fuck you challenge and i think he put out like a beat or some instrumental and it's like oh make your own verse or something or make your own make it bespoke now i guess it was all fun and games when it started i, I think it was more of a creativity type of thing traction but along the line, some people, some people took took it a bit too far. And honestly, even this fucking challenge even caused people to come for see me again. I mean, what does see me say about um, about yeah, Yahoo boys? And I can't believe that this society has become so accepting of um, of um, evil that people are now supporting the internet fraud stars. If we if we be honest with ourselves, we all know that this is hurting our image as a country. Mm -hmm. 